Hey guys, what is up? It's Jen and I have a super exciting video today because I'm going to show you how to take photos like Brandon Wolfville without a camera or anything special just using your iPhone. And on my iPhone it's a little tricky because I don't have that dual lens camera like the newer versions do, but I'm going to show you how to take pictures with just a normal camera without anything fancy like a special lens or anything just with your camera and to make them look like his photos and if you haven't seen his photos I'm going to show them right here they're super cool they use light and lots of cool colors and yeah that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do today so if you guys are interested just keep on watching the video Okay guys, so for the next part you're going to need some tape, some fairy lights or Christmas lights. These ones are called fairy lights because they are just battery operated, but it really doesn't matter which ones you use. And then the last thing you're going to need is your phone to take the picture. Okay, so after that you're just going to want to cut a piece of tape and paste it onto the battery part of your lights and then you're going to want to put that on your wall. Okay, so now I am just taping these lights onto the wall and I'm doing it like in a vertical line and now what I'm going to do is take the picture and what you want to make sure is that the lights are in the back of you and also in the front. So I kind of put like this string that was close to the camera so that the lights that were closer to the camera looked bigger in the picture. And this was pretty hard to do to get the right picture. As you can see I'm trying a lot of different takes. And yeah, you just kind of have to experiment and see what works best. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that if someone takes the picture for you and uses the front camera, like the bigger camera, the quality will be much better. So that's what I recommend. Since I was alone, I just did it with the selfie camera, but I do recommend using the other camera so that it doesn't turn out so pixelated. Okay, so now that I have the picture, I'm going to go onto my phone, and as you can see, I took a lot of pictures, but this is the final one. And so, now what you need to know is that these are the two apps we're going to use. It's called Tada and VSEO. So, we'll start with the Tada app, and I'll choose the picture that I chose. And what you want to do is scroll over to Blur, the Blur tool, and once you do that, the one that I like best is linear, but you can use circular or any kind that looks best on your photo. And you kind of just position it well so that the parts that you want in focus in the picture turn out in focus and the parts you want blurry are blurry. And this is really cool because it makes the lights look like a circle, just like his pictures. And yeah, that should be it. You can save it. And once you've saved the picture, then you're going to want to go into VSEO and this is when we're going to add the color to the picture. So in this part you kind of just mess around like the other one. You just go into exposure, highlights. Also, Brandon also uses a lot of clarity in his photos so I really suggest using that one. Also, his photos have a very low temperature and that's what lets it be blue. Also, go onto HSL and click on blue and slide the different sliders and you can get a really cool effect that's blue also. And then after that, go into the filters, and the one that I like the best is C7. And even though I'm not in VSCO Premium, I'll show you how to save it later. But don't make it the full way, then it will look too filtered, but just make it like halfway. And as you can see, I went back and I went to all the different settings, and I just made it, tweaked it so that it was perfect. And finally, once I liked the way my photo looked, all you have to do is take a screenshot of your picture and that way you can save it because obviously I don't have VSCO Premium but it's okay because you can just take a screenshot of your picture and one last thing though is that you want to go into shadows tint and make it blue and that's really important because his photos are very blue so once I've taken this screenshot it goes into my photos and as you can see I just cropped the black part out of it and there is the final picture so I hope this video was helpful for you in some sort of way and I hope you guys liked it. So if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.